Morning, good morning. Da, da, da. Louise! Yeah? What should we have for lunch? Can I, I have know. parsnip? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really appeal. Prunes. Oh my god, it gets worse. <laughs> no. Hey, tell you what. What? There's a cafe where we're going. Oh, that's good enough. Excellent. Let's go. Yes. I got the keys. Great, let's get out of here. Hello there and welcome to another edition of the Wednesday 20 show. You find us not that far at all from Bristol city centre today. No, today we're at Blaze Castle Estate. It's a massive 650 acre estate apparently. Huge. Mm, lots to explore today. Lots to explore and a few surprises along the way I'm sure. But like always, let's get off with a song, Swinging on a Star. be a mule. A mule? A mule is an animal with long fluffy ears. He kicks up in anything he hears. His back is bony but his brain is weak. He's just plain stupid with a stubborn streak. And by the way, if you hate to go to school, which I do, you do grow up to be a mule. be a pig. A pig? <laughs> a pig? <laughs> a pig is an animal with bird on his face. His shoes are a terrible disgrace. He has no manners when he eats his food. He's fat and lazy and extremely rude. But if you don't give a feather or a fig, you could grow up to be a pig. Swinging on a Star, that goes back to the 1940s. In fact, Louise and I did that song for the VE celebrations. Yeah, celebrating VE Day 75 years ago. A long time, eh? It is a long time. But if you think that's a long time, this house behind me was built in its current form in 1795. Yeah, but in the great scheme of things, that's not that old really, is it? You know, in the whole history of the, the country, I kind of wonder what else was here before that. There must have been something going on. Hmm. There's always been a dwelling up here. Since the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, all the way through. Different shapes and sizes, but there's always been a dwelling. And since 1795, this current dwelling hasn't changed at all. Which is fabulous, isn't it? I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why the name Blaze? Mm. Was it a person? Was it a man? Was it a warrior? No, the Normans built a chapel on this estate dedicating it to Saint Blaise and that's where the name comes from. We're sat outside Blaise Castle House 
at the moment and you're probably thinking the same as I was just now it looks pretty sorry for itself doesn't it it's boarded up on all sides in fact it looks like a war zone to be honest everything's just been neglected the steps are full of weeds all it needs is a bull weevil to go through and it'll be perfect. Barry, well, you're being really unfair. Come on, Bristol City Council, <laughs> get your finger out. Take no notice of him. It's actually a really nice place in normal times. Obviously, we're in very different times at the moment. It's mm. only boarded up to protect it and keep it safe. Normally, it's a really interesting museum that you can come to. And there's gardens out the back and there's a beautiful orangery, an old dairy. I think you're being a little bit harsh. They're just doing their best to maintain it and protect it for when it can open again, when life returns. Well, you saying about the gardens, I just did have a look at the gardens and the gardens are being kept immaculate. You're absolutely right. So everything is being kept on hold, uh, but the gates locked until such times that we can mix again. Mm. But I still can't get over the house. <laughs> anyway, having said that, let's move on to a piece of music. This is the band doing a gig at the South Gloucestershire show. Back in the day, it's a song called Bristol Girls. This is all of our next film, which is out next January. If you hear of us, please follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on, on the web. BarryWalshman.co.uk She's walking past my door And I don't know what she's looking for She's cute And she's a Bristol girl She got that perfect smile And all the guys wanna stop a while She's cute And she's a Bristol girl Bristol girls. Except I'm not a Bristol girl. You want to be a Bristol girl? <laughs> oh wow, oh wow. I'm a Somerset girl. I'm quite happy with that. Thank a Somerset you. girl? Yeah, yes. You sound too posh, love. <laughs> you can have posh Somerset people. Tell him. <laughs> anyway, believe it or not, that was filmed five years ago. I know. How did that happen? Wow. Yeah, shocking. That is a shocker. Five years. Mm. Take some of that. Happy memories, though. Oh yeah, yeah. 
I can't help but notice, love, there seems to be a castle behind me. <laughs> that wouldn't be Blaze Castle, would it? Yay! Up a hill like this. What is it with castles being built on the top of a hill? Hmm, I wonder. <laughs> it is actually quite a small castle there, isn't it? And do you think anyone actually lived in it? Thomas Farr lived here in 1766, and it was he that instigated the building of this Gothic sham castle. He built it to entertain guests, to show off. He was also a sugar merchant, a successful one. He owned many ships and sugar plantations in America. And he would watch his ships come to and fro along the Avon and up the Severn, making him more money. It was quite funny, really. With the outset of the American Civil War, they put blockades on ships and Thomas Farr became bankrupt and the property changed hands again. And now it's time for our special guests. Yeah, this week we are making it truly international, hailing all the way from Zululand in South Africa. These guys, Kadasi and Mahinga, they have recently won an award at the South African Music Awards for the best traditional music album. Let's let them introduce themselves. Sanbonani Nonke, hi everyone. Uh, my name is David Kadasi Jenkins. Hello, my name is Makunga. Hi, David. We are Katasi and Maklinger from Durban in South Africa and uh, we are an acoustic folk duo and we play a, a style of music called Maskandi which is unique to South Africa and uh, this is basically traditional Zulu music played on Western instruments uh, but we also bring in a bit of a, a Western flair and uh, thank you so much to Barry and Louise for having us on the show uh, we hope you enjoy our performance Thank you so much for your support Ubala 
Take some of that. Flying the Zululand flag high above South Africa. Guys, we salute you. Thank you so much for taking part in our show. Yeah, thank you so much. That's Kadassi and Makinga. And you are our first acts to make us international. <laughs> uh, so we find ourselves in the gorge, which forms part of the Blaze estate. There's miles of woodland walks here, there's a river. It's beautiful. Yeah, there's ponds, there's rhododendron walks. We could get lost here for hours. But while we do that, perhaps you'd like to take a look around yourselves. now in front of this mill and this has a very interesting story behind it. It does indeed because this is Stratford Mill. It was a paper mill then it became a flour mill but started life many miles away from here. Was it in Stratford? It wasn't in Stratford. Ah. It was in a village called Morton. Now if you wanted to visit Morton today you could but you probably need a diving suit because it's at the bottom of Chew Valley Lake. But before they flooded it in the 1950s, they moved it brick by brick and built it again, which I think is a fantastic idea. I've been here a few times, but I didn't know that story. No, 
yeah, it's very interesting to go to all that trouble to yeah. move, move something just to preserve it for history. Beautiful. Right, I think we should go into our last song. I think it's about that time. From one wooded area to another wooded area, this is Stock Hill Woods in Pretty, and we're singing a song, What Have They Done to the Rain? One, two, one, two, three, four. Just a little rain What have they done to the rain? Just a little boy Standing in the rain The gentle rain that falls for years And the grass is gone The boy disappears done to the rain well it's not rained here today we've had a beautiful day in blaze we'd like to thank will southcote one chris parrot and steve parrot for helping us out on that last track in stock hill woods pretty thank you very much guys to conclude our day today on the blaze estate we've come to blaze hamlet which is nine individual houses built by john harford in 1811 and 1812 get that for his ex-employees can you imagine employers doing that for their oh, employees these no. days oh no what a retirement present no God. way yeah lucky to get a chocolate bar nowadays you are yeah but we've had a fab day we hope that you've enjoyed following us today so from louise goodbye and from me goodbye thank you for watching see you next week Camera. <laughs> That's a small camel. You're a small camel. <laughs> Are we too old for this? Uh, <laughs> no.
bit too old for a swim. Woo!